Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. This is Amy Smith with the Daughters of the King Bible Study. Today we'll be studying on Romans chapter 15, but before we get to our studies, I just want to start out with a prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, what honor and privilege it is to be your messenger. And I pray, Lord, that whoever needs to hear this will hear it. And those who are unsaved, I pray, Lord, that Today will be the day of salvation. They would be saved. And those who are your children, I pray, Lord, that this will be refreshing spiritual food for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Romans chapter 15. We then who are strong and ought to do bear with the scruples of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let each one of us please his neighbor for his good leading to edification. For even Christ did not please himself. But as is written, the reproaches of those who reproached you fell on me. For whatever things were written before were written for our learnings that we, through the patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Now be the God of patience and comfort, grant you to be like-minded, together one another, according to Christ Jesus, that you may with one mind and one mouth glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the supporting scripture is Romans chapter 14, verse 1. Rejoice, one who is weak in the faith, but not to disputes over doubtful things. <clears throat> Another supporting scripture is Galatians chapter 6, verse 1. Brethren, if a man is overtaken by any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, considering yourself least, you also be tempted. And picking up in our text in verse 7 through 9, Therefore receive one another, just as Christ also received us, to the glory of God. Now I say that Jesus Christ has become a servant to the circumcision for the truth of God to confirm the promises made to the fathers and that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy as it is written. For this reason, I will confess to you among the Gentiles and sing to your name. And again, he says, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And Deut uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 43. Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants and render vengeance to his adversaries. He will provide atonement for his his land and his people. And the supporting verse is Romans chapter 5, verse 2. Through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And again, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Lord him, all you people. And again, Isaiah says, There shall be a root of Jesse, and he who shall rise to reign over the Gentiles, in him the Gentiles shall hope. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 10. It shall come to pass in that day, that the Lord shall set his hand again in the second time 
to recover the remnant of his people who are left from Assyria and Egypt, from Pathma to Cush, from Elam and Changnar, from Hamath and the islands of the sea. Picking up again in our text, verse 13. Now may the God of hope fill you with joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. A supporting verse is Romans chapter 12, verse 12. Rejoice in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer. And another supporting verse is Romans chapter 14, verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Now I myself am confident concerning you, my brethren, that you also are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able also to admonish one another. And I looked up admonish. It says to warn someone of something to be avoided so we can help each other to stay away from things that might tempt us or away from things that are harmful and dangerous. And then continuing on with our text in verse 15. Nevertheless, brethren, I have with it more boldly to you on some points as reminding you because of the grace given to me by God that I might be a minister of the, Jesus Christ to the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of God that the offering of the Gentiles might be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, I have reason to glory in Christ Jesus and the things which pertain to God, for I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Christ has not accomplished through me in word and deed, to make the Gentiles obedient. In other words, he's, he's only going to speak what he as led by the Holy Spirit, as led by God. He's not going to make dramatizations or try to guilt the people into obedience. He's just going to um, speak the words of, of God. And that's all and that's all anyone ever needs. Okay. Um, in mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and round about to Illyrium, I have fully preached the gospel in Christ, and so I have made it my aim to preach the gospel not where Christ was named, least I shall build on another man's foundation. But as it is written, to whom he was not announced, there shall see. And to those who have not heard, shall understand. And Isaiah 52, verse 15. So shall he sprinkle many nations kings shall shut their mouths at him for what had not been told them they shall see and what they had not heard they shall consider and then picking up on our text verses 22 through 29 for this reason i also have been much hindered from coming to you but now no longer having a place in these parts 
and having a great de desire these many years to come to you. Whenever journeying to Spain, I shall come to you, for I hope to see you on my journey and to be helped on my way there by you. If first I may enjoy your company for a while. But now I am going to Jerusalem to minister to the saints. For it's pleased those from Macedonia and Archaea to make a certain <clears throat> contribution for the poor among the saints who are in Jerusalem. It pleased them indeed, and they are their debtors. For if the Gentiles have been partakers in the spiritual things, their duty is also to minister to them in material things. Therefore, when I have performed this and have sealed to them this fruit, I shall go by the way of you to Spain. But I know that when I come to you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ. Um, verse 32, that I may come to you with the joy of the will of God and may be refreshed together with you. And then um, in Romans chapter 1, verse 13, now I do not want you to be unaware, brethren, that I am often planned to come to you, but was hindered until now, that I might have some fruit among you also, just as among other Gentiles. And then picking up in our text, uh, verses 30 through 33. Now I beg you, brethren, through the Lord Jesus Christ and through the love of the Spirit that you strive together with me in prayers to God for me that I may be delivered from those in Judea who do not believe and that my service for Jerusalem may be acceptable to the saints that I may come to you with joy by the will of God, and may be refreshed together with you. Now the God of peace be with you all. Amen.